Hello, everybody, and welcome to another chapter in the long legacy of the Big Ten Conference. It's a championship game in the new expanded Big Ten, and there are high stakes here, not just a conference championship, but potentially positioning themselves for a run at the national championship with an automatic bid. This is a matchup we've all been waiting for. Two teams ranked in the top five, battling for a precious conference title, but also pointing to something even bigger, the college football playoff. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, taking on the number one team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And a big gain across midfield moves the ball inside the enemy 40-yard line. Boy, what a big-time play here by this wide receiver. You know, sometimes, Chris, I wonder if Woody Hayes would be enjoying this modern passing attack from his Buckeyes. And I like to think that winning would outweigh any concerns he may have about that ball being in the air so often. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Great job on the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play out. Got space, looking to score. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Setting the tone early. How about the execution of the new drive of the conference championship? Yeah, Chris, I'm with you. Usually it takes you maybe a series or two to just kind of get settled in, especially with all the hype. But not this offense. Kind of give them a lot of credit. They were ready to go, and it really showed up on that opening drive. Ball handed off, bites off a defender. Showed off the stiff arm, but nowhere to go. He's held to a short game. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. I'd love to see that from a running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll give it to the back. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. See if the offense can overcome that holding penalty. Getting set. Here's second down. Looking downfield, it's Brown. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Good route running by that receiver on the corner. Was able to make a sharp break and run toward that open hole in the defense. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And it's complete downfield. They break him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. And you know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient and prolific quarterback under center. The Buckeyes will have first and ten here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he's got his man open downfield. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. Man, Chris, everything seems to be clicking for this offense. And if they can keep this up through all four quarters, it could get really ugly by the fourth. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. 
There's contact on the throw. That's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Second down, we're going to throw it. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. And you got to love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. This was a promising drive, but back-to-back -back incompletions makes it third and ten. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Bring him down short of the goal line, but it's first and goal from the two. The Buckeyes are looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Ohio State. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and he reached the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. First down, looking to throw the ball. Finds a man to the left, big catch downfield. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball to 31. First down here for this offense. And the back gets the football. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They don't block the defensive end and show some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Tipped and then dropped. Chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Looking to pass, it's Brown. And a sophomore making an impact play. Well, that's the kind of play right there that this defense has been looking for. Maybe that... Now throwing here to start the drive. That's a bullet, but it's incomplete. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between the quarterback and the receiver. Man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball, and eventually, that's going to cost you. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure, and now it brings up third down. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. Quick throw, testing the middle. He makes the grab. And an explosive gain moves the ball across midfield. Well, spot it spotted at the 42. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. The back's got it. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Second down play coming up. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. Finally brought down, but this is a big play. Moves the ball down to the 21. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, and they're just playing very efficiently right now. Okay. 
Buckeyes offense is on the move now. Looking to throw it on first down. Fires it to the wide end. And the sophomore, a little bit too much air under that throw. From the snap of the ball, it looked like he knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. But the guy just had him blanketed. And he still tried to get the ball squeezed in there. He's got to do a better job of working through his progressions to find that open man. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They make the tackle quickly, but the offense set up with a first and goal to seven. The Buckeyes will line up now. It's first and goal. This defense has got to do a better job in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, and this offense could have 50 on you by the end of this game. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield where he may go for a third or a fourth later today. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route winning. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. Tackle is made just a short gain after the completion. Wow, they get positive yards here, but they have a sense that they wanted a little bit more with that pitch and catch. The back behind the quarterback now in the pistol. Fires it to the wide out. He pulls it in for a big gain. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain more than enough to pick up a first down. I mean, the defense knew coming into this game that this guy was going to be a handful. they got to change things up. This guy's already got over 100 yards in this game in the first half. The Buckeyes with first and 10 here. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Looking to scramble. Fighting off the defender. Brought down at the three after an excellent running play. Well, this offense was looking for a big play, and I think this quarterback's eyes lit up when he realized there's nobody in front of him. He takes off and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big game to boot. Second down and goal upcoming. To the air, it's Brown. Looking for six. And it's picked off in the end zone. And they bring him down. Great play by the defense. First off, there is a flag on the field. Let's see if the play stands. Wow, a great play on the interception. But that's going to be wiped out on a roughing the passer penalty. And the offense set up with first and goal now after the penalty. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Touchdown, Ohio State. Still no answer for this offense. Chris, you think this guy, when he went to bed last night at the team hotel, thought he would score not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns in one game. What a day. is handed off out of the shotgun. It goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important 
is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. It's a run. Running back's got it. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid gain. Here's the second down play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. To the air, it's Brown. Good throw to the left. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? Give it to the back. Gets into space at the 50. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back. Just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain and a first down. Now it's second down here. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Tackle quickly, but a solid game. Ball spotted at the 25 now. Boy, another great throw and catch here by the Buckeyes. And it just makes you think back how far this offense has come from the days of being known at three yards in a cloud of dust to now being one of the more efficient passing offenses in the country. Year after year, you go back to Cardell Jones and J.T. Barrett, all the way back to Troy Smith, and most recently with C.J. Stroud and Justin Field. Just another great quarterback that we're watching here today for the Buckeyes. Buckeyes getting set on first and ten. takes the toss and moves to his right. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Well, setting the edge, a lot of times you rely on that offensive tackle to do the job at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes it's a tight end or maybe the H back. But someone has got to set the edge of the line of scrimmage to give them a spot to go. If you're not able to do that, you're not able to turn the corner and make a big play. That's a nice scramble there. A big game, but not enough for the first down. Well, it's second down and forever. You know they're going to throw the ball. They want to throw the ball, but to the credit of the defense, there's just nothing open. How about this quarterback? Instead of throwing the ball away, and he picks up some big yards. They got a real shot here now on third down. On third down, he drops to throw. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, there's still...
From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Good call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. And Chris, it makes you wonder, with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing, the defense sitting back in their base, I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some players to get the football back. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled after a three-yard gain, so it sets up a third and seven. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. The Buckeyes pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Tackle, but first down. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. Only gets a couple of yards there. It'll bring up fourth down. That's just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback. Got it. Back in motion now. On first and ten, looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. Heads out of bounds after running for the first down to keep this scoring threat alive. Serious pressure now for the defense. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. First down and 10. Dropping back, it's Brown. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. He's a wide open receiver complete. Timeout called by the defense. They'll go to the sideline and try to adjust as their first timeout. I understand the concept of bringing the blitz, and you hope that it gets home. But if you don't, you leave your corner in man-to-man -man situation against this wide receiver, that is a tough ask for this corner, and he's going to lose that battle more often than not. Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. Well, I'll tell you what, this guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. That's a great example that he's up to. Makes a quick grab. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. Ball back at the six for a second and goal off that loss. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a design run. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Off play action, he's looking to throw. He's got it right near the end zone. Can't quite make it forced out at the two-yard line. Boy, the defense does their job. It's always a special year when after all the work you put in, you can call yourselves champions of the Big Ten. And now with the playoff spot locked up, the spotlight gets even brighter. We're going to find out where they're going to be playing as they continue to pursue a national championship. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fallon, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.